Hey, there I am. Well, what a day. Woo. So far. Had a cup of coffee, ate some breakfast with my how. Yeah, we get on a video and we we eat breakfast together. Anyway, everybody says she's a, you know, isn't she a scam? And I said, no, are you crazy? I went over there. I know how much of a scam she is. <laughs> All right. Ain't no scam there, baby. Look. When I was over there, what did we do? Well, I'll tell you what we did. Uh, we went out to Cavite uh, on one of those trikes, which is cool as hell. I liked it. Um, nice, warm, 75-degree weather. Went out there, had a, um, a um, at, what, what do you call it, an engagement party uh, dinner. That was kind of cool. All, all Philippine food. I loved it, except for I touched something out there. They had it in a little bowl. Everybody was trying it. It was great. They were all a big smile on their face, even the teenage daughters. And so I put my, they put some on my plate. I touched it with my finger, burnt the hell out of my tongue and my lips. And I said, whoa, you got to be shitting me. Where's the water? Where's the Pepsi? Where there's anything? Drink! And I got three people giving me a drink, and then they all laughed. And I said, never again, never, ever again. If I touched that stuff before I sang for on a, on a stage, there wouldn't be a word come out of my mouth. They said, ah, yeah, they like spicy food. All right. Well, anyway, uh, went back on the trike, went back to uh, to the hotel. It was uh, Everybody was tired. I decided I uh, wanted to go out to that Asian mall, which is so damn big and it's so great. I loved it. So we went out there and uh, wandered around, and I saw in the coffee shop, said Americana coffee. That's a really big deal. So I went there to get Americana coffee, and uh, my house said, I'll get the coffee. And so she went in to get a coffee, and immediately I got approached by a really pretty looking young little Philippine girl. First thing out of her mouth, you foreigner? I said, oh yeah, I'm a foreigner. You rich foreigner? That made me laugh. Because, you know, you are rich. If you uh, make $1,000 a month, you're rich. So I said, well, I, I, I. and about that time, a how came back and stood behind me, put her hands on my shoulder, and she said, oh, I must go. And uh, I guess that's one of those international female eye-to-eye -eye messages. Get out of here. So anyway, she was gone. And we wandered around, 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 around the mall. I love that stuff. It's so cool. The mall floors, you can eat off of them. They're all glistening. They're all just beautiful. The walls, everything's painted. I love the murals everywhere. Just a beautiful, beautiful place. And we wandered all the way down to the end of it and then down a little uh, staircase and popped out onto a beach right on the ocean. Wow. That was cool. It wasn't like a beach. It was like a boardwalk, I guess, because I didn't see no beach. But anyway, um, you could rent trikes there. You could drive it around yourself. Now, that was pretty damn cool. And uh, motorcycles and all kinds of stuff. But my house said, you have to have a license. And uh, some guy said, just you have to have an American license. I said, hey, we could do it in my house. We don't have time. He goes, you had to go back to the printer to get the... Uh, get the uh, K-1 visa paperwork done, pictures and paperwork and all that stuff, birth certificate and everything. So we went back and we, we talked about this morning how we didn't get to spend a lot of time doing all the things we wanted to do because we spent so much time putting paperwork together for a K-1 visa so to get her over here. But you have to do that and there's just so much stuff to do and I brought a bunch of paperwork with me but you know, there's so much more you have to do after you get there. So, but. We'll continue this at another time, and uh, you guys, uh, I love the Philippines. I, I know I, a lot of, I, I saw a thing the other day in the Philippines how this guy hated it because it was this and it was this and it was this. I'm sure it was, but you would hate New York City. It's a shithole. You would hate Chicago. It's the murder capital of the freaking whole world. Um, I just happened to like where I was in the Philippines, and I happened to be in the uh, well-off section of uh, the clean and wonderful section of Manila, and I thought it was great. 
And I saw all the papers on the ground and all that shit, but I didn't see them in uh, Cavite after you went through the gated wall. So, what are you going to do? It's that same way all over the world, and if you don't think it is, you're a damn fool. Because I've been to places in New York State that are just shitholes. It's just the way it is. Um, they allow it. If I was a government official, I wouldn't allow it. First time a kid threw a paper on the goddamn floor around me or on the, on the sidewalk, he'd, he'd be picking it up with his nose. And all those police they got over there, they could easily address how you're, you, you dropped it, you pick it up or go to jail. I'd clean up that country fast. I know that they cleaned up drugs, so they should be able to clean up the litter. That's my opinion for the day. All right. One, two, three, four. Who the hell are we for? Well, sure as hell ain't no Democrats. Love.